Hello everyone. So in this lecture, again we are going to solve a problem on a heat transfer through a steam pipe. For that, we have taken a Mumbai University question paper of dated 12 December 2018. Okay. So our problem is. So problem is this one. A steam pipe of a length one meter and five centimeter inside diameter. And 6.5 centimeter outside diameter is insulated with a 2.75 centimeter radial thickness of a high temperature insulation. Thermal conductivity is equal to 1.1 watt per meter Kelvin. The surface heat transfer coefficient for inside and outside surfaces are 4,650 watt per meter square Kelvin and 11.5 watt per meter square Kelvin respectively. The thermal conductivity of pipe material is 45 watt per meter Kelvin. If the steam temperature is 200 degree Celsius and ambient air temperature is 25 degree Celsius, determine first heat loss per meter length of the pipe and second temperature at interface, third overall heat transfer coefficient based on inner and outer radius. Okay. To solve this problem, first we need to draw a figure. So for that, we have drawn figure here. So this is our pipe steam pipe which has inner radius as r1 outer radius is out r2 and that pipe coated with the insulation and there is a r3 is outer radius of this insulating button okay now so steam is flowing through this pipe so that's why we have indicated t infinity one is a steam temperature t1 is internal temperature of the pipe material T2 is interface temperature of pipe material and insulation and T3 is outside surface temperature of the insulation. T infinity 2 is ambient air temperature. Okay. So here again HI or H1 is heat transfer coefficient offered by the steam and H2 is heat transfer coefficient outside of the insulating. Okay. Now from the problem we have write down the given data say as internal diameter of pipe is 5 cm so according to r1 internal radius r1 is 0 0.025 meter outer radius of pipe is 6.5 cm that means sorry outer diameter of a pipe is 6.5 cm and corresponding outer radius is r2 is equal to 0 0.0325 meter then thickness we have given insulating material thickness we have given it is 2.75 cm if you add this value into the R2, we will get R3. R3 is equal to 0 0.06 meter. Then insulating material, we have write down Ki insulating material thermal conductivity is 1.1 .1 watt per meter Kelvin. Hi is heat transfer coefficient inside of the pipe. We have given 4650 watt per meter square Kelvin. H2 is outside heat transfer coefficient. 11.5 watt per meter square Kelvin and Kp means thermal conductivity of pipe material is equal to 45 watt per meter Kelvin. Okay. Okay. And now temperatures we have given. Temperature we have given steam temperature T infinity 1 is equal to 200 degrees Celsius and ambient air temperature as T infinity 2 is equal to 25 degrees Celsius. From the figure, from the figure we have to draw a thermal network. So we know that so steam is flowing through the pipe that means heat is transferred from steam to the pipe material it is by convection we have given already here heat transfer coefficient that means there is a heat transfer by convection then in the pipe material and insulating material heat is transferred by the conduction and from insulating material to the ambient air heat is transferred by the convection because we have given a heat transfer coefficient outside is h2 so that means we have one two three and four thermal resistances offered by this problem okay now here so for that we have drawn here four thermal resistances one two three and four and temperatures are t infinity one steam temperature t1 inside pipe material temperature t2 is interface temperature of pipe and insulation and t3 is outside temperature of the insulating material and t infinity 2 is ambient air temperature okay so t infinity 1 and t1 
so heat is transferred by the convection so that's why or you can write down here thermal resistance is internal one so ri then t1 to t2 the pipe material heat is transferred between pipe material so that's why we have write down here r1 t2 to t3 so heat is transferred into the insulating material so it is by conduction this is again r2 and t3 to t infinity 2 the heat is transferred by convection this is write down here r1 okay now to find in the problem we have to find out heat loss per meter length of the pipe so first is we have to find out q then temperature at the interface that means t2 t2 temperature and third is overall heat transfer coefficient based on inner and outer radius so that means this is a capital u okay now here we have to find out a thermal resistance separately so we have first we find out thermal resistance inside of the pipe so this is by convection that's why ri is equal to 1 upon a1 h1 so a1 is area corresponding to radius r1 okay so that's why 1 upon 2 pi r1 l l is the length of the pipe and hi is heat transfer coefficient inside of the pipe material so this is equal to 1 upon divided by 2 pi 1 divided by 2 pi into 0 0.025 is the radius and hn is 4650 okay and length we have given length of the pipe we have given l is equal to 1 meter okay so if you solve this one we will get first thermal resistance is 1.37 to 10 to minus 3 degree celsius per watt okay now second second resistance it is by conduction into this pipe material so this is equal to r1 is equal to ln r2 by r1 divided by 2 pi l k1 so l is length of the pipe and k1 is pipe pipe material thermal conductivity okay so this is equal to ln 0 0.0325 divided by 0 0.025 divided by 2 pi into 1 is length of the pipe into 40 pi 40 pi is thermal conductivity of a pipe material is equal to if you solve this one you will get 9.28 in 10 to minus 4 degree celsius per watt then similarly we have to find out the resistance offered by the insulating material so this is equal to r2 is equal to ln r3 by r2 divided by 2 pi l k2 k2 is thermal conductivity of insulating material is equal to ln 0 0.06 divided by 0 0.0325 divided by 2 pi into 1 is length of pipe multiply with 1.1 1 .1 is thermal conductivity of insulating material if if you solve this one you will get the answer is 0 0.0887 degree celsius per watt now last one we have to find out thermal conduct uh, sorry thermal resistance offered by the convection outside of the insulating material so so this is similar to the first one so this is also convection heat transfer so that's why formula is similar one as r1 so ro is equal to 1 upon a3 multiply with h2 a3 is area corresponding to r3 radius okay and h2 is outside heat transfer coefficient is equal to 1 upon 2 pi r3 into h o multiply with l so this is equal to 1 upon 2 pi into 0 0.06 into 11 upon 5 into 1 1 is length of the pi is equal to 0 0.03 23060 degree celsius per watt now if you see in the figure thermal network all the resistances are in series so we will add this one to find out total thermal resistance okay so our total thermal resistance is equal to ri plus r1 plus r2 plus r0 is equal to if you add all these values we will get 0 0.032165 degree celsius per watt okay now first we have to find out first we have to find out the heat transfer per meter length of the pipe so in all this thermal resistance we already can consider length of the pipe as 1 meter okay so q is equal to t infinity 1 minus t infinity 2 divided by r total here i have considered total thermal resistance so that's why i am considering the temperature t infinity 1 minus t infinity 2 and in the problem we have only given only given the two temperatures t infinity 1 and t infinity 2 so that's why we need to consider the resistance available between these two temperatures and this these are the end temperatures so that's why we have considered all the thermal resistances okay 
so that's why the, we have formula q is equal to t infinity 1 minus t infinity 2 divided by r total is equal to so t infinity 1 is 200 minus t infinity 2 is 25 divided by 0 0.32165 is equal to 544 544.07 watt so this is for per meter length of the okay so this is our first answer 544.04 watt amount of heat transfer heat will be transferred from a one meter pipe okay now next one second we have to find out the interface temperature is interface temperature of a pipe material and insulating material as a t2 so for that for that i will consider t infinity 1 to the t2 these two temperatures i know t infinity 1 we have to find out the t t2 so that's why we will consider only two resistances ri and r1 okay so for that i have written a formula here q is equal to t infinity 1 minus t2 divided by ri plus r1 ri and r1 both are available in series so that's why we have adding this here okay so t infinity 1 minus t2 divided by ri plus r1 so we substitute the values 200 of t infinity 1 minus t2 we need to find out this t2 value ri addition of these three two resistances we have found out 2.298 into 10 raised to minus 3 and this we will equate with the value we have already calculate the heat transfer as 544.07 watt okay if you solve this one you will get the temperature at the interface t2 is equal to 198.75 degrees celsius okay so this temperature is similar to the nearly equal to the steam temperature okay now last we have to find out the overall heat transfer coefficient based on inner and outer radius overall heat transfer coefficient is denoted by capital letter, capital letter e u so this is u is equal to 1 upon r total overall heat transfer coefficient and total thermal resistances are reciprocal to the each other each other so that's why we will substitute the value we have already find out the r total so e is equal to 1 upon 0 0.32165 and we will find out the answer capital u is equal to 3.109 watt per meter square kelvin so this is our answer thank you